All right, this is uh, part two of the video. Um, <clears throat> I not a lot left to talk about. Um, I guess in summary, the real thing that we really wanted to hit on though is one, homosexuality is just um, the, well the act itself of having a sex for the same or uh, the same gender person um, is no more of a sin or less of a sin than like I said other sexual sins. And the reason why the put, Bible puts such a big emphasis on sexual sins being bad. It's because of the only sin that's inside of us. Um, and when it's there, it's hard to get rid of. Um, and God doesn't want anything to put, anything to come between you and him in a relationship. Because as you see, people who um, are labeled themselves as homosexuals, there's a big block there. And not a lot of them will come to Christ. And that's a lot of the reason why it says be very careful with sexual sins. Because they have a tendency to tear you and God apart, and that's not what He wants. Um, as for which, you know, some Christians are going to be asking, what do we do then about various things to demote homosexuality? Um, it's kind of hard. I know that a lot of homosexuals um, are angry at Christians because we try to push things like Proposition 8 and other things. Now, some people do that with a. Um, reason of hate, which is totally anti-biblical. No Christian should be hating at all, all right? Because God shows love, and if you know God's choosing to love everyone, then who are you to hate them? But anyways, the a lot of reason why I myself so um, support things like preposition A and those things is not because I have anything against homosexuals. I really, I, I get really sad when I see someone who claims labels themselves a homosexual and then will not come to Christ because of that. It makes me sad because I know that they're going to be entering an eternity without God, where instead, what I want, I want them to be with me in heaven, praising God. I want them, you know, to be there to, you know, because it's, be, it's going to be awesome in heaven, you know, paradise and parties and everything. I want people to be with me, and I want to take as many people to heaven with me as I can, because I don't want them to go to the other place, and I want them to know the joy that I've had in praising God, and uh, to have that relationship. So I don't support those things because if it means that one more person won't choose down the path that maybe was teetering on the edge and doesn't know which way to go. I don't want that person to put up that wall that's going to tear them and God apart. That's not what I want. So some people are motivated by hate, but you also understand some people aren't. Some people are motivated by a love, just one that you know you don't necessarily agree with in terms that we're going against you in order to show you our love where you don't think it's very loving. Yeah, you kind of get the idea. But understand that a little bit so as a christian you know you're gonna have to think that one out which one is going to <coughs> bring people to christ it, it's a hard situation i can't tell you which way to go i know which way i go but i'm not sure which way to go in that we really got to think about you know what is going to bring people closer to god what's going to bring more people there um but that's really it. So I hope um, you enjoyed the video. I know I'm probably going to get spammed by a ton of people still. Kind of goes with videos like this. Um, but I really hope that you guys understand that I'm not labeling any homosexual as below me or anything. In fact, I'm at equal level, if not lower. The only thing is that I don't have the wrath of God against me because my sin was paid for with the blood of Christ. And God wants everyone to take that same deal the same deal where we accept jesus his punishment and that way we can be with god the father again um so i encourage you even if you are homosexual and even though if you don't want to even touch on that subject of what the bible says about homosexuality and sexual sins i'd say don't even worry about it right now first find the relationship because there's so much there you you're gonna have to take my word for it but those who actually have a relationship with christ they can tell you it's above all the best thing ever and once you have that, then you can start to make that decision about what you want to do next. But don't let your homosexuality get in between you and God because there's so much more at stake and there's so much that you're going to be missing out on life by going through not having that relationship there. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me. Send me a message. I'll put the link again on the, the comments area. Um, but I'd be more than happy to talk with you about it, to give some ideas. If you are um, a Christian and... Um, need one more or no more information or need some help on certain situations um feel free to contact me if you're a christian struggling with homosexuality you want to know which way to go 
Um, I also I'm gonna put up a link in there, but Exodus Youth is a great website put by someone who does struggle with homosexuality and is a Christian. And it's kind of a network for people that um, who have made that decision, who have the relationship with Christ, and want to please Him in that area of their life, um, that they may have some resources to help arm up in, in battle. If you aren't a Christian um, and you are homosexual, like I said, I'd like to reach out to you and really tell you that the God that I worship, the one in the Bible, the one that if you really read, like even just read like the first four chapter or four books of the New Testament, just the the telling of Jesus, you're going to get a lot about who I'm actually following, who Christ is, and really the love that's there. And if you want to know more about that, even, you know, just come talk to me. I'd be more than happy to you. I've learned a lot. I wasn't always this knowledgeable. And in fact, I up until a couple of weeks, I didn't really know how to deal with this type of area um, and how we should deal with it. But now that I actually look through it, and I think I have a good understanding of it, I think I have um, at least a new outreach that I can help people. Um, so again, take care. God bless. Um, please don't spam my, my video. Thanks. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye.